Hey guys, Boo in the Boot channel here with a new episode of Super Galaxy 2. Just want to show something really quickly, which I uh, have learned, or just forgot to mention. If you zoom in when you're at the beginning of the world, you can see the poor little house world, fun little thing. And it's like the justifier of this little thing's existence in the first place. We're going back to Cloudy Court Galaxy, where I will be skipping to the secret mission there's not really much point in showing what I've already done I'm just gonna be getting some coins 30 of them and uh, yeah so see you at the at the fatty ha ha key we have 33 more than enough And rest in luck. Can I check more? Okay. I'm so hungry. Will you give me 30 of the day? So good. Feed 30 of my transform. Yes! Got a huge coin craving. In a way, these guys are better. Because you don't actually have to aim your control stick. And a new planet was born. Doo -doo. And the uh, wonderful fluffy bluff galaxy music just succumbs to this. And it's a simple little collectathon, but oh no, these guys show up again. Essentially, if you get hit once here, you're, you're as good as dead. And every time you get a star. Ah, you didn't have to do that, and you didn't have to do that either, but... Yes, good job, make it. Just one more. Still on for time, bit. Come on. It's not what I need. I need the last one, which is right there. And of course, once you finally get the star, which is um, a bit stressful to do, um, this guy's some star bits. Pretty good. And yeah. A little fun fact is that. No. Home and ground pounds uh, hit the star too. Quite neat. And we are now done, Cloudy. Cloudy Court. I keep getting mixed up. We're gonna now go to the Tall Trunk Galaxy. Fun fact, we have 27 stars. I think we're like one away from being able to take on... <sighs> I need to change the batteries, but... We're actually one star away from being able to take on the World 3 boss. Which means we're making really good progress. Tall Trunk Galaxy, the flotatious bloom fruit. I believe it's time for the third... No, second... Of the Yoshi power-ups. And we have uh, some Yoshi Star Galaxy music to back it up. Yoshi! Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's not what it sounds like at all. But essentially, you eat it, and then he becomes a living balloon that clearly has a, a leak somewhere. Make it? Yeah, good job. So, what do I think about this power up? It's fun. It's, um,. Do I like it more than the whatever you call it? Yeah, Yoshi, uh, the um, hot stepping dash pepper. Yeah, I probably do. It's probably my. Uh, it's, yeah, it's my favorite. Although, Yoshi's good, but his power ups. They're good too, they're just not anything exquisite. I think this is just a bonus room. And that it is. And we're not going to gamble today. That's not healthy. This has been a PSA brought to you by the Boo Channel. And boom. And we're never going to get a coin anyway. Before we go anywhere else. Oh yes, if you hold uh, A. He loses his... Um, his uh, he, you hold the air, he just doesn't go as far. And now we've made it to a new section, which, what else? 
No, that's not what... Yoshi, don't, don't run off the edge. There you go. Which is another five-star collect-a-thon chip thing. What I meant to do was also not that. If you hit those spike things, it's quite obvious, but you also lose your... It pops the balloon. So, don't hit those. Of course, shaking at any time will just burst Yoshi too, so... Maybe don't play the game when you're... Uh, <laughs> when you're doing something involving a lot of shaking. What you would... Why are you going that way, Yoshi? What you would be doing, I, I don't really know, but... Now, as you saw, the star was way at the top, and we now have to make our way up there. Via this thing. Dang it. I wanted to grab it midair, but it didn't work. Come on. And. Boom. And we have Yoshi. Yoshi. Oh my god! Do you see that? Do you see this right here? Hey, bro, everyone left me behind that house to look it up here. So, hey, guess what? I decided to look for Power Star 2. If you see me out there, come say hi. I can help you save the universe. He went from being somewhat Italian to, uh, to not being Italian at all. I don't know what he became. But Luigi's now in the game. Kind of. You can't use him at will, but whenever he does show up, and this. 28 stars. You know, when, when he does show up in random levels, he, um, use them. They're good. That being said, I believe it's time that I address something. And yes, it's the Tall Trunks Big Slide with some very, um, nostalgic slide music to go with it. And I believe, yes, there he is. Yes. Luigi himself. Um, so you can use Luigi. Hey, bro, you're looking for a power starter around here, too. You want me to talk a for a while? You can play as Luigi. You want to switch, bro? Yeah. So, spoiler that there are green stars. And my batteries are low, but that's besides the point. So, Luigi is that, uh... My goal is to have Luigi and Mario have an exactly equal amount of playtime per level. There's 242 stars, which again is kind of a spoiler, oh well. But, um, so I want them to each get 121. So, for the Green Star missions, which involves coming back to the levels, there are just as many Green Stars as there are Power Stars, save for two, which we will get to later. But, um, for every, the way I want to do it is for every level, I play right now is Luigi. I'm going to use him for every almost every single Green Star mission too. But for every level I use Luigi, it's not a Green Star mission. Save for the, the special two, which we will get to later again. I will be using Mario for that, those, just those specific um, missions. Sound good? Anyway, Luigi, he does have a bit more of a slide when he stops, which is kind of annoying, but... If I can do it. Oh god, this triple jump is a lot higher. That being said, it's time. <laughs> this this has a purple coin version of the mission, which is a bit problematic, but we'll get to that later. So yeah, it's just uh, reminiscent of the original slide in uh, Mario 64. Um, one thing, any advice I have is uh, don't move the control stick too much. He's very, very tender. And, um, oh god. And uh, just just keep it, keep it simple. Um, just try to nudge the control stick, if you know what I mean, instead of constantly holding it down. A bit easier for precision. Oh god. This is where I used to die a lot. 
But I successfully did not die. I avoid death defying in this case. And here's also where I used to die a little bit. Oh god! There you go. Oh god! No! Luigi! Do 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 the star is for you. Thank you very much. So, uh, there was a easy mission, fun mission, made somewhat stressful by me. And uh, we now have to talk to Lubba. A ghost has appeared in Tall Trunk. Excellent. Oh, there you go. A prankster comet has appeared. It's time for the one of the final big parts, big aspects of the game that influence power stars. Prankster comet has been spotted. Prankster comets can transform a galaxy into a wildly different place. Come to think of it, you've been collecting comet medals, right? Collecting lots of those comet medals make more comets appear. Which is why it's always good to get them. Thank you, Lubba. You're the best. Now you can get to work on getting a star for every comet. And the batteries are still not shit. Go for it, Captain. What else is it? Looks like you brought back a whittle with you. I love those guys. I use them for toothpick. I think he wants to talk about comet metals. Go give him a shout. To, 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 I don't know. Hey, bro, I'm a little... <clears throat> Sorry. Hey bro, I'm all over the place today, explore the universe. Next time you see me out there, talk to me and let me leap at the action. I just made, he just sounds Indian now. Oh god. Alright. On to the comet medals. Do, 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 do. Sorry Mario, you got head trauma. So, I believe you have time for a few more missions. This time. But uh, we're not going to actually be making any forward progress for at least one two more episodes I'd say one at best because now there's gonna be prankster comets showing up everywhere our first example of which is in the cloudy court galaxy the shadow lining and if you can see kind of does it has a blue tint to it which means it's a, a comet Thing. But well, I'm gonna show you right here. If you approach these things really carefully, next, okay, no. As you saw the first one, if you approach these things really carefully, it's, it's a glitch in the system or the the programming or whatever. It's uh oh god, I didn't know that may spawn. But um yeah, you uh. The exact spawn point of the Cosmic Clones is not exact to the Starship hit, hit detection, so it means you can avoid them in that section. Unfortunately, in this section, you're not as fortunate, and unfortunately for me, in the last section, I wasn't careful enough. Speedrunners don't use it, it's not, like, you should never even have problems with these guys in this mission specifically, but if you do, it's a fun little tip, and it's also fun to exploit the game and pretend you're better than the programmers. Oh god, what are you doing, Mario? And I hate this part. They think you're all safe, but then no. You're not until you finally break open the star. So there, there are a lot more power... Um, com <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> so there are a lot more um, comets than this. But uh, this is the first one. Anyway... Next time, we're going to take on some more um, comets, uh, prankster comets, before finally uh, adventuring on in World 3.